Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today with my review of One Piece chapter 848. This was a good chapter, but not much happened. It's really a weird situation here, guys. Not much happened, but it's a really good chapter. Okay, so, we get some stuff with pudding at the end, which is a majority of it. It's a very quick read, alright? That's the first thing I need to say. This chapter is a quick-ass read. Let's start off with the stuff with Mama. No, or Big Mom. I'm already calling her Mama like I'm a member of a crew, damn it. No, but so Big Mom talks about how this day is so great. Big Mom's in a really good mood and talking about how nothing could ruin it and how excited she is to open up the box. Now, we all know that inside the box is a bomb! So, she's talking about how this day couldn't be ruined, and I'm thinking about all the ways this day could be ruined. Now, people are also talking to Boardnet just about the nerve of Luffy, and what the hell is wrong with Luffy for interfering with Big Mom, speaking to her the way he does, they think he's crazy. And yeah, we get a little bit of talk between the Vin Smokes. We also get a little bit of a flashback scene with a pudding thinking about her, her having Lola pat her on the head as a kid. And so pudding no knew Lola and know why she ran away, which will be critical later on in the chapter. Now, we do get a great scene, a really touching scene with Sanji, where he pretty much he, he openly admits he hates the situation. He loves his friends, and he doesn't want to leave them, but he knows it's the only way to keep everybody safe. So this is his genius, in my opinion, plan. He's going, well, genius in the grand scheme of things. He's going to love pudding. And he goes into his little love cook mode. He's a cooking love, heart out of his eye, call it going, pudding John! And it's the... It's really sad. It's really, really sad. I didn't notice I, that I still have the scar from my surgery last year on my arm. Ha! <laughs> no, but, um... Yeah, so we get that stuff with Sanji. Really sad scene, because he's kind of forcing himself to act like this. But at the same time, we're kind of like... Oh, this is a thing! This is very interesting. No, but, um... So, yes, we get the talk with Sanji and Pudding. We get the talk with Big Mom. The, the Lady Smoothie shows up later in the chapter, but... I'm going to talk about Brooke now. Brooke. Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. I like you, man. I know I beat on Brooke. I actually have a video on what Brooke's introduction necessary, which I will link somewhere on screen. Probably here. Probably here. No, but I'll link it on screen and talk about that. But I do bash on Brooke. I do talk shit about Brooke. I do. I know I talk shit about my man Brooke. I know. So my question to you guys is what you call the Brooke stuff. I thought it was really cool. I know there are some Brooke haters out there, but I really liked it. I'm one of those people that, even if I don't like a character, I can admit when they're cool. I will give you another example besides this in the Naruto review, which will be out later tonight. Yes, I'm reviewing Naruto now, but that's beside the point. Okay, so, what else is going on? <laughs> what else is going on in the chapter? Well, Brooke and Pedro. Pedro sneaks into the treasury and provides a distraction. Brooke fights them off. He fights these soldiers that have been had these from like a game of check kind of that had soul put into them by Big Mom herself. Very interesting idea. Very interesting. And he fights them and he talks about how mere souls could never stand up to the soul king. And it's really cool. Brooke always has good dialogue with scenes like this. He really does. I loved that scene. Ten out of ten thing. Okay, now, let's talk about everybody talking about Pudding. After we see a scene of a Pudding, they tell her, you know, she shouldn't wear a different wedding dress. 
the Big Mom doesn't like the dress she puts out. By the way, Big Mom, apparently we now know that Big Mom is not just a bitch and a crazy one at that. And she's also one of those crazy bitches that likes to control her, her children's wedding. Yeah, like, she picked out everything. She planned it. She picked out the dress. She, she decides who her daughter will marry. This bitch is controlling as hell. If I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But so we get that. And then putting Go to visit Luffy and Nami in their cage. She convinces the guard, to, the book guard, the book guy, I forgot his name. I'm gonna have to read it. There's a lot of people in the dark with weird names. I stuck at weird names. But she goes into their cage and she talks to them. She apologizes for all the horrible things that may have happened to them while they were in there. She then explained that Sanji offered to marry her. He proposed to her officially and formally. And she, she, that made her very happy. I think she does love Sanji. But she also realized that he's just being a good man. And that he loves his friend. And he really... But only he would never have married her. If he wasn't forced into the situation. And he will be miserable without his friend. She recognizes that. So she, makes, so she tells them, you don't have to worry, I won't be marrying Sanji, goodbye. And then she leaves. So, if you want my prediction, I'll say the same thing anyway with two brains would say. She's going to run away from Big Mom, so she doesn't need to marry Sanji, and try to get away from it. She's going to run away like Lola did. But you have to realize, Big Mom's a Yoko, and if you run away from her, you will probably end up, if you're ever found, you're done. In fact, I'm somewhat curious how Big Mom never found Lola. How did Big Mom never find Lola? Like, how did she not? She, she said she could do practically anything. Why can't she find Lola and kill her? That bothered me a little bit. But yeah, so putting Lee to said goodbye, that was all very, very interesting. Now, okay, honest thoughts of a chapter, it was a good chapter. What I like about this chapter is that it was progressive, exciting, got me hyped, but it didn't get me so hyped I can't give it a good rating. Okay, because there, well, there was nothing that bothered me. The problem with a chapter is that only two things really happen. Brooke and Pedro fought and putting spoke to Luffy and Nami. Like two plot points were met. And honestly, I just can't I don't feel comfortable giving this chapter a ten out of ten. I'm not even sure how to feel about some of the stuff in this chapter. I like it, it's good, but I'm not sure how to feel about the stuff with pudding. So I will give this chapter a 9 out of 10. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 chapter. I'm trying to get chapters less now. You know, not as many high rankings. I don't want to keep on giving 10 out of 10s every week. If I find that there's a chapter that is good and there's nothing wrong with it, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. But I'm only going to get 10 out of 10 to chapters that are like Gear 4 Tank Man level good. Or Gear 4 Tank Man, or like the Mary Stream will ate to death. Those are the chapters that will get things like 10 out of 10. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed your review. Uh, click subscribe for more videos. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Have a nice day, guys.